five items. Ooh. That's going into McDonald Highlands. That's going into one of the most beautiful neighborhoods on Earth. I think we're going to take this one. Just so you guys can see some, like, 30 and 40 million dollar houses uh, bottled soda okay we can take that one yeah all right what the hell was that my ruckus almost stalled it's got a full tank of gas too all right you guys have seen the ride this is over by the the McDonald's that I've picked up from a couple of times in uh, previous video so uh, once we get towards uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to McDonald Highlands I hope it's going there that's what it looked like on the map and that place is so rad I mean that's the neighborhood of my dreams uh, you'll see so I'm gonna wait until we start to get over there and then uh, we'll pick it up all right guys we're coming up on it right now the entrance and the guard gate my favorite house the most incredible house i've ever seen is in this neighborhood i'll see if i can get it in the uh, frame for you i watched them build it and i think they sold it for 19 million dollars and it's just amazing but yeah um Looks like once, there's the gate into McDonald Highlands right there, and I still have a mile and a half to go after that, and a lot of these roads go uphill, so this could wind up being uh, quite a lengthy uh, delivery. But I love to take these because the neighborhood is so awesome. This might be a hidden tip or two, because it's showing nine bucks as the payout, but you know, if somebody can afford millions or tens of millions of dollars for their house, they can probably give me a decent chunk of change. So we'll see. I'm going to stop it for a minute until I get through the gate. I might have to talk with them and show them my ID and everything. But then once we're rolling, uh, I'll pick it back up. Okay, we're in, guys pay no attention to the lowly three and four million dollar houses down there and over there let's go after the good stuff I got to pay attention to where I'm going too. I don't have Bluetooth in this helmet so I got to watch my phone screen uh, that house the jagged pointy one up there you see that that's my dream house that place is so freaking amazing I can barely stand it you probably couldn't see it very well, but uh, I'll try to get a better picture of it or something sometime up there. God, that place is amazing. And these people do an incredible Halloween display every year. Look at all that stuff. That's awesome. Las Vegas takes Halloween very seriously, uh, especially downtown Las Vegas. And I'm actually gonna show you that on one of the other scooters shortly after Halloween I'm gonna go and uh, try and film it for you walking up and down Fremont Street with the camera mounted to the stem of the scooter but just take a look around you guys all of these houses are millions oftentimes tens of millions of dollars This street over here to the right, I think it's this one. Is this Dragon Ridge? Or Sleeping Sleeping Dragon? Yeah. Uh, I think it's that road. No, it's not. It's Dragon Ridge Drive. One of these roads that goes up here, it only has like six houses on it. And the, the lowest priced house was like $12 million. All the rest of them are more than that. It's the most valuable street in the state of Nevada. Aside from Las Vegas Boulevard, of course. Most, 
most valuable residential street in the whole state of Nevada. Yeah, we're doing a lot of uphill, but you know, on the bright side, on the way back, we get to do a lot of downhill. God, I love this neighborhood. One day, guys, one day, we're gonna be chilling in a pad. And this, God, that house is like, that house is like 200 feet long. Holy crap, it's, well, that's not even it. It's like 500 feet long. Oh my God. Uh, I've been to that house a few times. That's another like 10 or 15 million dollar house. There, Dragon Ridge Drive, that one right there. The one that goes up there. That's the most valuable residential street in the entire state. Is it this one? Yes. I'm sure I've been to this house before too. Everything. All right. Oh, wow, that spider thing uh, over there moves. Or it did. I don't know if it's, yeah, look at that. The head turns. That's awesome. Alright. Oh yeah, I got an extra 50 cents. That's good. 9.50 to start the day and we got to come to the coolest neighborhood in the world. That's not bad. And I do hope that these rich people enjoy their port of subs Look at these mansions on the hillside, man. I oh, love it here. And the views that these people have of the Las Vegas Valley, the strip down there, you probably couldn't see that. But, you know, I mean, most of these houses can see the entire Las Vegas Valley. So, I mean, even if the house isn't spectacular, the view certainly is. So this is just a little taste of McDonald Highlands. I can't really give you the whole thing because we got to get back to work. But I'm not getting pinged with any orders yet. We're just out, there we go. We're right back into the delivery area, just barely now. See that big white one up there on the hill? I watched them build that one too. I think that one's worth about 30 million bucks. It's, it's humongous. And uh, it takes up an enormous plot of land that has views in every direction. <laughs> This thing really smells like it's burning today, and I don't know why that would be. It's got coolant. 
Uh, I just changed the oil recently. I just put some fresh gas in it. The temperature light's not going off or anything. But it got kind of dusty because uh, there's been a lot of wind blowing dust around the last few days. So maybe it's just burning that off. I don't know.